Let's start out with an informal greeting from me to you. What's happening? How's it going? Welcome back to another sip, sip to Tuesday. Hey, hey, hey. What is up? It is sip, sip Tuesday. So a special hello on a sip, sip Tuesday. I've got my sippage right here. Can you guess what it is? Coffee. Mmm. Just made it myself, but. It's actually really good. I got decaf in there because you know I'm a baby girl. I got coconut oil, a non-dairy half and half because I have some, so I added it into this. I added cinnamon, I added cacao powder, oh, and brown sugar. It's actually so good. I don't normally drink hot coffee that much, but like, this is good. And especially because it's a cold day. Grab your sip sip and let's get to this. As you already know, I honestly have no idea what the heck to even talk about today, but we're gonna look up a topic, so let's see. LGBTQ news today jill biden says they want to pick a fight with bullies <gasps> let's see what you guys say jill biden okay so this is politico.com dr jill biden sounds like she might be ready for a 2020 campaign mm. a former second lady told a story from her childhood of knocking on the door of a mean boy in the neighborhood winding up and punching him in the nose no way i just imagine her be like Bam. the thought is just awesome obviously Violence is not the answer, kids. Violence is not the answer. But Joe Biden is a boss. The crowd of LGBTQ activists and supporters cheered. Heck yeah, I mean, I cheered. I wasn't there, but I cheered. I haven't seen it, but I cheered. There is nothing that makes either of us more angry than a bully. There's nothing that's more unfair or unjust than people using their power to try to make other people feel small, to tell them who they are or what they are capable of, to say their identity doesn't belong. That is amazing. I appreciate that. I wish I could express myself that way. One day I will be able to. She said, explaining why LGBTQ equality is one of the priorities of the Biden Foundation. Oh, that's so sweet. But in what many in the crowd heard as a not so subtle comment on President Donald Trump, I can't even say his name. I'm just kidding. There is nothing that makes us want to pick a fight more than that. You go, Biden. Man. Makes me happy, it makes me proud to read this. Sticking up for the LGBTQ plus community is amazing, I love it. And bullying not just the LGBTQ plus community, but bullying as well. I just get so emotional when I see these kinds of things. Like really, like I'm not even faking it, I'm being serious. I love seeing this stuff. It just makes me happy to see that others are standing up for others in this world. The former vice president is campaigning all over the country. The Bidens often talk about themselves as a clan and they certainly act like one. Oh, power couples. Mm, so cute. Ooh. Mm, mm, he about to drop some realness right here. <clears throat> the president uses the White House as a literal, literal bully pulpit. I never heard of that word, pulpit? Pulpit, pulpit, pulpit. Why does this sound funny? Callously exerting his power over those who have little or none. The former vice president said, mm -hmm, you can say that again. Wait, hold on, I gotta find out what a pulpit is. What is a pulpit? Definition. A raised platform or lectern in a church or chapel from which the preacher delivers a sermon. How do you say it? Pulpit. Pulpit. Okay, it makes a lot more sense now. Much of the speech was about the greater cause of equality. That is great. I love seeing this kind of stuff. It gives you hope. It gives you happiness. It gives you joy to see other humans uplifting other humans, standing behind other humans. It doesn't matter the subject. It's just great to see. It's uplifting. It makes me happy. Those who try to excuse this kind of prejudice in the name of culture, I say, prejudice is prejudice and humanity is humanity. It is a crime, Joe Biden said, urging the crowd and anyone else who cares about issues opposed by Trump to stay engaged. Our Work is not yet done any stretch of the imagination. The stakes are much too high. That's a good thing to read, you know? Let's see what else is top stories and analysis. All right, let's see what else. Democrats poised to pick trans... Uh, I did not click on that. What's going on here? Okay, go back. So I was reading this right here. Democrats poised to pick transgender woman for Vermont governor. Ooh. That's awesome. Let's see. Going to this video, she began wearing a wig and a blouse to work. Oh, publicly coming out as a woman named Christine to her employees at the Vermont Electric Coop. The utility she had led for years as a man named Dave. It was the culmination of an eight year gender transition that, after a lifetime of experiencing gender dysphoria, had filled her with dread at the ostracism. Big word. She knew what to follow. I was sure when I transitioned, I'd end up sleeping in a gutter somewhere. Oh, But Vermonters, Vermonters? If I butcher that, I'm sorry. I don't really know the proper way to say that, but I believe it's Vermonters. Greeted her transition with overwhelming acceptance. Look at this. In April, she became the first openly transgender governor governational 
candidate in the nation's history. Wow! This kind of reminds me of, what's her name, Louise? The, the one that I talked about last time, I can't remember her last name. Debner, Deb, Gobner, Deb, I don't remember. She was the first LGBTQ plus queen. And now, Christine Halquist, Halquist, I'm so sorry for butchering your name. Hal, Halquist, 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 became the first openly transgender governational candidate in the nation's history. Oh, it makes me so freaking happy and so freaking proud to see the LGBTQ plus community is climbing the ropes and getting to places where maybe so many who identified as LGBTQ plus or so many of us now today would have never thought it possible to attain positions that high up. Like it's so freaking awesome to see so many individuals in the LGBTQ plus community on the rise, doing great things for themselves, reaching their dreams, setting new milestones in the community, reaching levels that they possibly never even thought would ever happen, making history. I think that is amazing. Becoming the first of all, oh, it just makes me so happy. Congratulations to you, Christine. You probably won't ever watch this. You probably won't ever see this. You probably don't even know that I exist. Who does anymore? I'm just kidding. Maybe, I don't know. There's a slight chance that maybe she does. I don't know. I always like to just say congratulations. I love to see others happy. I love to see people on the rise. So congratulations to you, Christine. This is freaking amazing. And I'm so happy to be sharing this right now. And we'll finish off this little topic with saying it is also a sign of the arrival of transgender Americans as a small but burgeoning political force. I should start reading articles like this more often. They have a lot of big descriptive words that I've never heard, but I should probably start adding to my vocabulary list of words. Look, check this out. Vermont was the first state to abolish slavery, the first to grant same-sex couple civil unions with full marriage rights, and the first to legalize same-sex marriage through its legislature rather than by court ruling. Wow. Oh my goodness, Vermont. You're doing all these nice things. I'm proud of you, Vermont. This is amazing. It's amazing to know that there are places that exist like this. You know what I mean? This article goes on and on and on, but um, let's pick some, some random news. Let's see. Funny news today. Okay, let's try this. NBC News. German chocolate factory spills makes for a sweet street oh my gosh no. shout out to the chocolate that's in my um coffee today my cafecito all right let's see oh this is december 2018 okay so i'm a little late to the news but this is fun to read anyway so Firefighters in the town of Wuerl in western Germany tackled an unusual emergency late on Monday when a tank at a local firm making liquid chocolate overflowed and poured out onto a street. Can you imagine that? Like them calling up and be like, hey, uh, yeah, um, eating chocolate off with their fingers. Yeah, uh, we got a problem here at the chocolate factory. Uh -huh. It's overflowing into the street. We need help, please. Send fighter fighters. ASAP. Yes, I said firefighters. That's what the road looks like. It goes on to say, about a ton of chocolate, the way they spelled ton though. About a ton of chocolate ran out into the yard and from there onto the street. The firefighters closed off the street and shoveled the chocolate about 108 square feet to one side before a specialist cleaning company cleaned the road. What? Dang, that's crazy though, for real. Sheep eyeball juice. Huh? No, 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 I don't want that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's see what Huffington Post has to say. The biggest, the bigoted bang theory. Nah. Funniest animals. No. What? All right, let's check this out, you guys. I'm seeing something here. It says this right here, shawl or vagina. I'm gonna freaking try to figure it out and get to the bottom of this. Is it a shawl or is it a vagina? Mm. Let's click on it, let's see. What? This shawl looks a little familiar and a lot NSFW. I don't know what that means, but let's play it, okay? Let's see. No, it doesn't. Oh, like, yeah, if you cut out the little... <laughs> oh my god, this from Fendi? Oh man, you made a boo Fendi. Fendi's new touch of fur shawl looks like a vulva. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you imagine, like, like, hi, yes, is there any more of those shawls that were in the window? The, the one in the window. And the girl's like, which one? And then you're like, oh, you know the one? The, the one that looks like a vulva. The, the vagina looking one. You know which one I'm talking about? Fendi seemed a little embarrassed. The brand took the pink shawl down from its sight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mastermind, mm, you buying Fendi's 986? Touch a fur scarf, it resembles something, but can't put my finger on it. <laughs> the color isn't flattering on me, but otherwise I'm here for the scarf that recalls my emergence from my mother's body. <laughs> 
Who let people are so smart? Literally, I don't wouldn't ever think of these things. The most expensive Fendi scarf looks somehow familiar, especially when flipped. Oh my gosh, bro. But red and blue versions of the shawl are still on sale. <laughs> That was funny up in them post. Oh my gosh, I think we should definitely end on that note. Mm. That is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Literally to think. Like where are the people that like <laughs> you know the photographers either one had a really dirty mind when they were doing this, they just didn't say anything. And it would maybe could have been a part of a plan to take over the internet world and become a meme. Or two they literally had the cleanest, most purest virgin mind ever and did not even have the slightest thought. Because I know if I would have been there and been the photographer, I would have been like... Can somebody ever raise up? People look like a whole unshaved bulb. I don't know. I definitely would have thought of that. I would have definitely seen it. I would have called it out the second I seen it. I'd be like, mm-hmm. Anyway. Mm, mm. All done. Finished my Sip Sip Tuesday drink. Finished the Sip Sip Tuesday topic. I definitely think it was perfect, perfect way to end this video. I was so funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. By the way, if you see that it's super dark in here, if the video is a little dark, I don't know if I'm going to be able to mess with it in post production. But it's a rainy day and so there's no sun. Natural lighting is all I've got because I didn't want to take out my lights. So this is what's going on, this is what I'm dealing with. But nonetheless, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. The last one was a good one. Anyway, thank you Fendi for giving us a little laugh. Thank you Huffington Post for giving us a little laugh. Congratulations to Christine. The Bites for being so supportive. The liquid chocolate spilling all over the street in Germany. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you'll join me for the next sip sip. I'll see you in the next video. If you want to see more of me in real time, please check out my social medias. If you like what you see, I invite you to follow. If you're not already following me, if you are free. Thank you so much. And with that being said, remember, if there's one thing that I want to call to mind, there are actually three. No matter the highs, the lows, always be sure, always be certain to do good, be grateful, and stay humble. Bye.